Welcome to another video, Walk on the Wild Side, and today I'm not in Blackpool, I'm actually just down the road in Lytham St Anne's. So I'm actually in Ansdell. Now Ansdell is situated between St Anne's and Lytham. Yeah, so it's kind of like a buffer zone, I'd say. It's pretty posh here. Uh, a bit of a buffer zone between St Anne's and I would say the more upmarket Lytham. I'm actually on Common Side here. This is called Common Side. Yeah, it's not very common though around here, I would say. Look at these houses here. Wow. Yeah, we're just coming up to the main drag here. This is Woodlands Road. Bit of a coffin dodger's paradise if you ask me actually. Let's go and check it out, shall we? Check out this hat that the pulse box has got in it. Look at that, it's more than a hat, it's actually a crown. Look at that there. Can you imagine if they put one of these on one in Blackpool? It wouldn't last long, would it? Look at that. Wow. So in this video, I want to take you to George Formby's house, which is just over in St Anne's, but along the way, I want to show you a bit of this place and Fairhaven. It's quite a walk though. So that's where I started, just over there on the corner of Commonside and Woodlands Road here in Ansdell. And we're gonna head up this way. We're gonna go over the bridge, over to Fairhaven, and we'll finish up at George Formby's house. Now this place here, this used to be a booze. A boo, yeah, a very upmarket greengrocer's booze. It's now a co-op. They actually built a, a much bigger booze just down the road. So we'll just have a little look at Ansdell. This is Ansdell. And like I say, it's a it's part of Lytham St Anne's. If you go to St Anne's, they have a, a town hall there, and the town hall serves St Anne's Lytham. Ansdell and Fairhaven but this place here is actually well it's actually uh, quite a lot to it if you look at that building over there look they've got a public hall look at this building here isn't it amazing public hall and Ansdell Institute isn't that posh there look at that yeah just look at this building here isn't it grand Ansdell Institute and uh, just over the road, there's a bunch of shops here. There's some dates over the road, 1903, this terrace here. In fact, there's another date up there that says 1905. So it gives you some idea of when all this was built here, when the town started to get going, sometime after Blackpool. A lot of people kind of uh, moved down here from Blackpool and they built Lytham St Anne's. We're just going over the hill now. Now on the right hand side of this hill is Royal Lytham Golf Course. We might just be able to have a little look at that. Yeah, so I will be heading to George Formby's house, which is actually just over the border, I think, in St Anne's, and it's a bit of a walk, so uh, watch out for that towards the end of the video. OK, this is Anstall Station here. Look, if you take that line there, it takes you to Blackpool, yeah? And just over here is the golf course, Royal Lytham Golf Course, just over there. They use that for the Open. A little bit of history here, if you're interested. The first station was built in 1873. You can freeze the video if you want here to read a bit more. I'll tell you what, for a small town, it's got some pretty big buildings. Look at this one here. Yeah, that's an architect's down, but that must have been a bank, mustn't it? Look at that building there, isn't it grand? Yeah, what do you think? I'm coming down the other side of the the bridge now and we're, when we get over the main road down here we're going to be heading into Fairhaven where they've got a lake so we'll check that out shall we they have got some nice architecture here in Ansdell look at that cherub up there and this looks like it might have been a bank at one time as well it's now a dental practice Windsor house anyway here's a little look around Hello grand building on the corner there so we're just coming down to the main road now which is Clifton Drive 
and then we'll head over to Fairhaven and after that we'll see if we can find George Formby's house, shall we? Well, it seems like we're in Fairhaven already. Look at this, Fairhaven Methodist Church and we're not even at the main road yet. Yeah, so we're coming to the main road now. Oh no, it's starting to rain. Oh, what a nightmare. Okay, so I'm now on the main road. I had to take cover from that rainstorm, yeah. It's all passed over now. We're just looking back towards Fairhaven Church there. That's Woodlands Road, Hansdall. Anyway, look at this place here, this shelter here. Look, Hansdall, Fairhaven. It's quite fancy, isn't it? Let's have a look in here, shall we? Check this out. Uh, interesting smell. Oof. <laughs> I don't think I'd like to sit in here for too long. Trams in Lytham. Gas trams, look at that there. Bit of history there on the trams. Of course, they used to come to, uh, to Lytham. I'll tell you what though, I don't like the smell in here, I'm getting out. Before we head to Fairhaven and the lake, I want to show you this building just up here. It's called the White Church. Let's go and check this out, shall we? I'll tell you what, there's some massive properties around here, not cheap to live around here. That's a nursing home, that there. Look, massive house. That'll have been a massive house back in the olden days, won't it? Look at this one here. It's probably flat set, isn't it? Anyway, just over here is the white church. Look at this. There you go. Let's have a closer look, shall we? Check this out, the white church. You don't get something like this in every town, do you? I wonder if it's got a blue plaque on it. We'll have to go and have a look, won't we? White Church, very popular here in Ansdell Fairhaven for weddings, no doubt. It's got a really nice tower to it, look at that. I think this is the entrance here. But, uh, can't see a blue plaque, I'm afraid. Got a bit of a garden to it. The organist has got his own parking space here, look. Organist. Yeah, so that was the White Church. And I'm now heading down now onto the promenade where we'll check out Fairhaven and then eventually George Formby's house. Now, I believe the house is called Beryl Dean. That's named after his wife. And funny enough, he only lived till um, 56, yeah. And his wife died, George Formby's wife, Beryl. She died before him. And it wasn't that long after she died that he, uh, he got engaged to somebody else, a teacher, yeah, yeah. So there you go. So he lived in the they lived in the house until he died. And there is a blue plaque on the front which we can see. When we eventually get there. Here's a quick look across Granny's Bay. That's towards Lytham there. All this sea defence here was all done in the last few years. It's very fancy. Yeah. So we're heading up this way towards Fairhaven Lake, just up there. We'll check that out, shall we? Very, very popular around here. Okay, we made it to Fairhaven Lake. This is the car park here. Here are the prices, just in case you're interested in visiting Fairhaven Lake. You do have to pay before you go in. They've got a barrier here. There didn't used to be a barrier, by the way, in the olden days. You used to be able to just drive up here and uh, it got quite interesting at night, actually. So I think the re one of the reasons why the, they ask people to pay now is uh, to try and stop certain behaviour that goes on at night. Just over there is the ice cream. Okay, so look, fancy an ice cream. Not the best weather for it today. Anyway, just over here is Fairhaven Lake. Check it out. Yeah, even people around here need reminding to behave themselves when they're in this part of town. Here we are, folks, Fairhaven Lake. Yeah, like I said, it's very, very popular. 
really, really busy here in the summer. Families and that come here. There's a lot of wildlife goes on around here. You can have a go on the boats. I'll tell you what, I think I've underestimated just how far away George Formby's house is. I thought it was just the other side of the lake, but it's, in fact, it's, um, it's the other side of the large schools, the old schools, the King Edward School and the old Queen Mary School. Yeah, it's just the other side. It's actually just inside St Anne's, so uh, got a bit of a walk on. I thought I'd just show you this big sign here on the steps down from the, the pavement. So we'll have a little look around here quick look and then we'll head off and uh, see if we can find George Formby's house. I've never been there before by the way. I've probably been past it loads of times but never really took any notice. So that's the RSPB visitor centre there. Well that's quite cool, look at this. It's like an airport isn't it? Look at that there, they have arrivals of birds. Look at that ring plover sandalings it tells you how many how many are coming in here yeah. that's quite cool isn't it anybody any good at birds i'm no good at wading birds by the way there are so many wading birds some of them are really hard to tell so this is fairhaven lake this will be the boat house here won't it not many people <laughs> There's no one on the boats today, but there will be come the summer. Just along this way, we've got what looks like a cafe up here, Lakeside Cafe. So there you go. This is Fairhaven Lake. Okay, so I've come out of there now and I'm back onto the main road again, which is called the Inner Promenade. Check out this, we've got some charging points here for electric vehicles, but these are the slow ones, aren't they? These are the ones that you need to have your own USB cable for, aren't they, these ones? The slow chargers. Anyway, I'm now on this road. It's straight down here to George Formby's house. Got a couple of nice bowling greens there, look. There's a crazy golf course down here and there's some people playing tennis over there, look. Just over the road, there's a house. And it's, uh, I don't know what style you'd call that house there. It's quite dark, isn't it? A very dark red brick. It's for sale with Frank Wiles. I wonder. How much that house is going for? What do you think? Okay, I finally made it to the other side of Fairhaven Lake and we're looking towards like the back end of uh, the old King Edward School. Yeah, here in St Anne's. We're actually in St Anne's now. This is now called AKS. I think it stands for Arnold King Edward School, I think, or something like that. It had gone through a merger with Arnold, of course, Arnold in Blackpool, went through a merger there. It was called King Edward and Queen Mary for a while because there were two schools. There's the, the boys and girls school and the girls school is now a set of posh flats. But this school here is now AKS. Yeah, very, very exclusive. Anyway, we'll be going past that in a minute, but I just want to show you one more thing over here at Fairhaven Lake. It's the Spitfire. Let's go and check it out, shall we? And then we'll get to George Formby's house at last. So we're now at a car park on the other side of the lake. And I just want to show you down here. Just got to show you this. We've got a full size model of a Spitfire just down here. Let's go and check it out, shall we? Now then, check this out. Look at that. Spitfire. We're not that far away from Wharton, BAE, and I think this is something to do with the link with Wharton there. 
we've got a little information on BAD2, which was the base air depot 2. Wharton there. It's even got a pilot in it as well, look. Bit of info on the Spitfire there. The Supermarine Spitfire. There you go. So that was Fairhaven Lake anyway. We need to head towards George Formby's house. We're not that far away now. Okay, check this out, look. There's a sign there, St Anne's on the Sea. But St Anne's on the Sea, Ansdall, Fairhaven and Lytham all come under the same council, Fylde Borough Council. And the town hall is in St Anne's itself. Here we go. Get some coffee for me. So we're going to make our way around the back of this massive school here. And then finally, we'll get to the main event. I think it must be kicking out time because we've got a load of cars here, big Chelsea tractors, all that sort of thing. Yeah, so we're right around the back of the school there now, AKS. I'll tell you what, I can't believe just how far this is. It's a lot further than it looks on the map because, like I say, I've never actually took any notice of uh, George Formby's house before, but it's a lot further away than I thought. Anyway, we're almost there. OK, I finally made it, folks. We're looking down King Edward Avenue there. Look at that there. That road there with the grass verge in the middle. But I can see the house now. It's just over here. There it is, and it doesn't look like it's had any modernisation done to it, which is really good. It's got a balcony as well. Look at that. Massive house. It won't have been cheap, will it? It's a good job a developer never got hold of it, otherwise they'd probably turn it into some big glass and steel carbuncle with LEDs all over it. But there you go, George Formby's house. This is it, folks. And there's a the blue plaque. There's the blue plaque for you. I'll show you that. I can't go inside. It's 199, by the way. 199. Here you go. This is what we've been waiting for. George Formby, OBE, George Hoy, booth, 1904 to 1961. Musical entertainer, comedian, bought Sintra from... He bought Sintra from Tenor, Joseph Lock in 1953. I don't know what that means. But here's the house, folks. Isn't it nice? Yeah, there you go. We finally got here. Here's a little close-up of the blue plaque. There you go. 199, George Formby. There you go. We made it, folks. There you go. So there you go. I finally made it to George Formby's old house here on the inner promenade in St. Anne's. And by the way, I'm sweating a bit after that long walk. I didn't realise just how far it was from Fairhaven. I finally got there in the end. Anyway, I hope you like this video. If you do, hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos. And I will see you again on the next one.